Hey, what's up guys? This is Marcos. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this animated lower thirds title. So someone recently asked me on the comments if I could create a motion lower thirds title. Well, I'm not an expert at it. I'm going to teach you what I know and I'm going to keep it very basic and simple. That way you can replicate uh, this lower thirds. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. The first thing you want to do is open up uh, motion. And as you can see here, you have uh, this is the main window. You're going to have different selections. Uh, so we want to go to the Final Cut title, select that, and I usually leave it at 1080p. And I don't know if this really matters, but I'll leave it at what I shoot at normally at 23.98 frames per second. And I'm going to make this, let's say, four seconds just for the sake of it. But you can change it to whatever you want, depending on what you're looking for. So the first thing I do is I delete this background title. I don't need it. And I want to make sure I check the properties of the project. But so if we go select project inspector and then properties, I want to make sure this background is transparent. Now to make it simpler to work with this project, I'm going to change the background color to, I don't know what, what, what's a good color here? Blue. I like blue and, uh, that's it. So, uh, the next thing we select the title and I can't see the title right now. And what I've seen is that this default tool defaults to 100%. I want to make sure that I set it to fit. Now I can see the title there. So there's a lower thirds we're going to create. So we want to set it right about there. I think that looks good. And I want it to default to, Hey there. Now we want to add a, a, a box, a rectangle box. That's going to sit right around here. And, uh, right now you can't see the text because it's behind the box and both of them are uh, white. So we're going to, we're going to have to change the text. Uh, first of all, let's change the face to a different color. I'm thinking, uh, licorice is that black color and we're going to move it up above to sit above the rectangle. That way we can see it. There it is. And I think that looks pretty good right there. So that's our lower third. Now the next thing we have to do is animate this thing. So if we move a little bit forward, we're going to add a keyframe to the group. So we're going to treat the rectangle and the text as being one thing. So if we select the group, we go to properties and we're going to add a keyframe there. It's going to add a keyframe right here at this spot. And now we want to move the playhead back and add another keyframe. And now we're going to move the X axis. So as you can see here, it's going to move out of the frame. Now, if we play this by hitting the space bar, you see, it animates it. Now you can change the length of this uh, transition or this movement by moving moving this keyframe here. Um, in this case, I like how the speed of this, so I'm gonna leave it right there. I'm gonna play this again just to make sure I like the speed. I think that looks good. So now we're gonna uh, animate uh, the, the out point. So if we go to the end, and again, we're gonna add another keyframe to the group, not each individual element. So select the group and we add another keyframe there. As you can see here, there's another keyframe. Now we move to the end, select uh, again, another keyframe and we're gonna move the X axis again. We're gonna move it out. That looks good. So if we, if we play this, comes in, no, wait for it, comes out and it's looping. So that's why it was, uh, it just played again. So. Uh, let's slow this down just a little bit. Let's play it again. Wait for it. And it moves out. I think that looks good right there. The last thing we want to do is add some parameters to some of these, uh, elements, like especially the text, not the text, the, the, this rectangle. I want to make sure I, I can change the color of the box when I export this to Final Cut Pro X. So if we select the rectangle and we go to the Let's see, we want to go to the shape and we want to, we want to add a parameter or in this case, we hit this drop down arrow where it says fill color and select publish. And I'll show you in a little bit what the, what this does. So this allows me to change the, the color of the box when I'm in Final Cut Pro X. Um, the fill opacity, I also want to have access to or have the ability to change the opacity of it. So I'm going to hit publish on that one. Let's see what else I want to do. Style, geometry, the size. Let's add a parameter for that. 
And I think that's it. So the, basically, uh, I just gave myself the permission to change the color and the sh and the size of the box when I'm in Final Cut Pro X. So if you're wondering what that is. So I think we're ready to export this to Final Cut. So hit File, uh, Save As, and here's what we name it. My Lower Thirds title, and I'm going to save this under the hashtag custom made. This is a folder I made. We're going to hit Publish. Now, if we close this, we're going to go to Final Cut Pro X. So here's the title section, and I have here the folder hashtag, hashtag custom made. We select it, and there's my lower thirds title, the one we just created. So if we drop it down into the timeline, uh, let's close down this thing. Now let's make this fit. Okay, there we go. So if we play it, there, it came in, and it came out. So that's pretty cool. So if we select this title, and uh, let's see, Let's go to the inspector. Here is where we can change the fill color. Remember the parameters I had set? Here I can change the, the color of that uh, the box. So let's make a blue. And uh, sometimes I like to make this less, um, decrease the opacity of it. And I can make the, the box smaller, not too small. And also can change the color of the font or, and also the size depending on what I'm looking for. Change the face, let's make this white. And I can always move the font just a little bit. And if we play it again, there it is. So if you make any mistake or if you wanna change anything, any of your lower thirds, you can always right click on, on the title and open in motion and again you go th through the same things of making your changes and then at the end you save it close motion and you come back to final cut pro x and so hopefully this helps you um with creating your own lower thirds try to keep this short and to the point so let me know if you have any questions as always guys thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next video mm -hmm.